Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to MZ Lodge for another week. Uh, had a pretty quiet week on the racetrack this week. Uh, just a little filly uh, called Soya Pink. She uh, actually showed a bit of form, which is, um, which is great. She's been a bit negative in her races, but uh, come from a long way back and steamed home at Packenham on Tuesday, which uh, my first time down at Packenham and had a good look at it. it it's absolutely amazing. I'd challenge anyone to see a better, uh, a better facility, um, racetrack. The synthetic is great. Um, the course poppers are quite amazing. It's, uh, it's fantastic. And um, geez, if there's a better uh, country racetrack, anywhere in Australia I'll give up but uh, well done to everybody down there as I said it was my first time down there having a look at it and uh, facilities are outstanding and uh, the, the, the racing is fair the shape of the tracks amazing so um, no, really really well done down there uh, runners for us this week, um, we'll step out at Geelong on Friday, um, a horse called Cool Cool World will, will go around, uh, he's um, a bit very very highly strung horse, he's a very difficult horse to train and um, I think we've got him right again and uh, he'll go around there and he'll be more than competitive, doesn't look overly strong that race and uh, Callo on, um, it looks a pretty nice race for him. Um, little filly called Miss Spiel, she's been trialling up pretty quick and uh, she gets her chance now, she'll go to the races, we'll kick her out, she'll go forward and uh, if she can happen to sort of land outside the leader I think she'll take a, a fair bit of beating, really strong race and um, uh, plenty of depth in it, I'd say she'll be a fair price too, I'd say she'll be 10, 15 to 1 so um, she's definitely worthwhile having a little gold coin on and we'll step out a big first starter called Aralka, um, beautiful high chap colt, he's um, one of our favourites here in the stable, um, he's only had the one trial in his whole life and uh, I just think we're going to get more out of this colt, taking him to the races and giving him a race day experience rather than just mucking around trialling him too much. These are only 1100 metre race and I imagine he'll just sort of sit off them and work home strong. Um, if they sit up late, sit up, um, the front runners come back to him late, he'll be steaming home over the top of them. I just reckon it may be a little bit sharp for him but the um, horse is in very, very good condition. A uh, horse called Northern Soul will probably step out at Warwickmobile on Saturday. Um, he uh, really nice horse. I just can't find the right race for him, but um, I want to run him in a 1200 metre three year old maiden. And uh, unfortunately, I have to travel a fair way with him to get him into that. But he's in uh, really good condition. Trialled up lovely a few weeks ago. Um, Gallop great through the week. Um, expect him to go up to uh, up the bush and be really really hard to beat. Um, Sunday we might go to Warrnambool, I'm just um, not really sure, we'll just gallop uh, Macrobius uh, tomorrow, if he works up okay, he'll go there to a 1700m64, um, probably just wants this one run and then go to a mile and a quarter where he'll start, I think he should be starting to win, but um, I was really happy with these um, work, I just put a set of blinkers on him and sharpened him up a little bit in his track work, and uh, I thought his work was a lot better than it has been, so he probably gets his chance to sort of um, do something on Sunday. Then we'll head off to Geelong on Tuesday, we'll have a, quite a few horses go around here, here, I think. Um, we'll start off with um, a filly called Spurt. She um, ran first up the other day in a 1300 metre fillies and mares race and um, I'll probably send her around again and uh, she'll go okay. A little filly called Brianna. She's, um, she just um, was poking along last time in and we got her up over a mile with a set of blinkers on. Actually got her 2,000 metres with a set of blinkers on and she improved out of sight. She's had two trials this time in and uh, seems nice and fit. She hasn't had the blinkers on yet so we're going to throw the blinkers on at the races and um, no doubt she'll be steaming home and she could easily run a place at big odds. Horse has been pretty unlucky of late. Uh, Moot, he just hasn't had much luck. So he goes with a 1300 metre maiden, Callow on again, and uh, he only needs an ounce of luck and he'll be winning races this horse. His um, first two runs have been great. Little filly called Pixis gets back to fillies and mares, grade 1100 metres. Her last start at, uh, on the synthetic was fantastic. She only got beat a couple of lengths. This doesn't look as strong as what she's been racing in, and uh, if she can draw half a gate, she will be pretty competitive. And uh, spherical. Um, might even throw a set of blinkers on him. I'm going to gallop him in the morning with a set of blinkers on and see how he goes. He just seems to be a little bit negative in his races and sort of half pie working home. Um, exact same race as what he ran in last time, 2200 metre 58. Um, uh, throw a set of blinkers on. Hopefully you'll posse up two or three pairs closer. Uh, Callo on, which will help. And um, he um, hopefully can do a little bit more. He's been okay, that horse. He's just probably two or three lengths off him at the moment. So um, hopefully with a set of blinkers on, that'll really help him. And a lovely little two-year-old called Gallant I Am um, ran a really good race first up. Form around the race has been huge. So um, he goes to the 1,300 metres second up. Should suit him down to the ground. Uh, he'll get ridden off the speed and be steaming home. Um, pretty nice horse. I rate him. He's, um, I think he's going to make the grade. Yeah, we quite often get a few people asking um, about other horses in the stable. So we decided to do a, um, a feature horse every week. So uh, um, give you a bit of an idea on where some horses are at. Here's this week's feature horse. 
Yeah, our feature horse this week is a horse called Northern Soul. He's a beautiful three-year-old, Northern Media or three-year-old, and um, he's going to step out and have his first start this Saturday. Um, he uh, raced last time in and um, ran some really slashing races, getting a mile back at his races and, and hammering home. And um, this time in, he just seems to be a little bit more switched on. He's sort of posing up a little bit closer in his trials and, um, and uh, seems all ready to go. We're just going to take him up the bush first up, and um, I'm just going to try and set him for the Silver Bowl series. I think it's a really nice series for him, and culminating in a, in a, uh, a mile race uh, final at Flemington in, in about six weeks time but he's already going. You can see he's probably still a little bit more condition on and um, he's not really really cranked up yet but um, really nice horse, great bunch of owners and um, looking forward to him getting back to the races. Hi everyone, well here quite a few of you are laying my tips on Betfair and that's fine, good to know that you're winning but this week we're going to change direction. Straight to Rose Hill, race six, Number seven, Darcy Magic, seven to one in early markets, then to Flemington. Race nine, number 11, Repulgent, around six to one, and my value bet, also at Flemington, is race six, number three, Rough Justice. Please give me some, so I can be back here next week. Good luck, good punny. That's it for another week at MZ Lodge. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, pretty busy weekend this weekend. Um, plenty of horses racing, um, probably too, plenty of miles, I think. We're going from one end of the state just about to the other. But uh, horses seem to be going well and only a bit of luck to put their head in front. Until next week, see you later. Here's this week's joke. This week's joke doesn't come from me. It comes from another trainer whose name will say... Um, well, we won't mention his name, Vinnie Milady, but a bloke goes into the doctor's and he, um, the doctor says, you need a brain transplant. He said, we've got a rocket science brain, trans brain for uh, 10,000. We've got a doctor's brain for 20,000. We've got a jockey's brain for 50,000. The bloke goes, how come the jockey's brain's so dear? He said, it's brand new. It's never been used. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>